Hey everyone, it's Lisa Mears here. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's Christmas in July over at Spellbinders and they have just released a brand new Christmas card making kit. This card making kit is called Make It Merry and it's jam-packed full of so many fun products to make lots and lots of Christmas cards. And in addition to this card making kit, there's lots of new Christmas themed stamps, dies, stencils, and even hot foil plates over at Spellbinders. So I will have a link to this kit down in the description box below, and I'll have a link to all of the Christmas products down in the description box below. So if you want to check those out, I always appreciate appreciate when you use my links because it does help support me. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's inside this box. So in this box, there are so much stuff. This is more than a typical monthly card kit. So first of all, uh, let's start with the inspiration card. So this sheet has two sample cards. There's also shows there at the bottom everything that's included in this card kit. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this over and it shows you how to make one of the cards that you saw there on the reverse side. So I'll go ahead and set that aside and just like with every card kit you do get some foam. This time you get two sheets of the foam adhesive as well as one roll of double sided tape. And you also get 13 A2 size cards and matching envelopes and you also get 12 5 by 7 cards and matching envelopes. Also included is a large pack of cardstock sheets, and these are your full 8.5 by 11 cardstock sheets. And there's lots of different colors included in this pack, so I'll go ahead and pull these out and take a look. And in this pack, you'll get 14 sheets of regular cardstock as well as four sheets of the foil paper. So you'll get two sheets of the silver foil paper and two sheets of the gold foil paper. And I love the Spellbinders foil paper because it's foil on both sides. So here's a look at the other color cardstock sheets. You get a blue, three different color greens, three different color reds, two different pink colors. There's a brown and a black and three sheets of the white cardstock. You also get a 6x6 six six paper pad and there are 40 sheets. There's 20 designs. You get two of each design. So I'll go ahead and flip through this so that you can see what's included. There are lots of your traditional Christmas colors with the greens and the reds and there's also several sheets that have foiled designs on the sheets. This particular sheet says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This is a good sheet that shows you all of the colors of the paper pad. This one has the old fashioned car with the Christmas tree on top. You have one here with polka dots. This one has Santa hats. There's some holly. Here's a wood grain paper. Here's a red with some white hearts. There's some chevrons. This one is green with some gold foiling. So pretty. Here's some pine leaves. And we have a green with some muted snowflakes. This one is some presents. You can see the gold foiling on there for the bow. We have a floral. I think we're back at the beginning. So again, you get a total of 40 sheets, two of each design. So in addition to that, you get some sentiment puffy stickers. So I'll bring these up close so you can see all of the sentiments, lots of Christmas phrases. Some include ho, 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 fa, la, la, merry and bright, and so many more. There's also a sheet of gold sentiment puffy stickers. Some of those include joyful, merry Christmas, and several others. There's also a sheet of chipboard stickers, lots of sentiment options on here, all wrapped up in holiday joy, season's greetings, treasure the magical moments, ho, 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 deck the halls, merry and bright, peace, joy, and love. So many options. Here are some more chipboard stickers. Bring those up close so you can see what those look like. And this one has a front and a back. So I'm going to switch over to the back side. You can see that old fashioned car. There's a cake. There's a house. There's the word Mary. There's a present. 
There's a large sheet of red gemstones in four different sizes, and there's a pack of red sequins. Also included is a pack of die cut shapes on the right and die cut journal tags on the left. So let's look at the shapes first. I'll go ahead and open these up and lay all of them out here on my table so you can see what they look like. So in this pack of die cut shapes, there are several different shapes that you can use to make little scenes on your cards, but there's also several sentiment pieces. So this one says, may the joy of the Christmas season fill your heart all year long. We've got mistletoe kisses, friends like you make this season magical. And then you have some smaller banner type sentiments. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the shapes that you can make little scenes. I love this old-fashioned car with the Christmas tree. We've got a little snow globe. And by the way, you do get two of each one of the pieces that you see, including the sentiments. So let's take a look at the die cut journal tags. I'll go ahead and pull these out. You can use these tags on cards. You can use them as gift tags. You can use these in traveler's notebooks or scrapbook pages. So you can see there's some plain tags here. Again, you get two of each one. So I've spread them all out here on the table and I'll bring some of them up close so that you can see them. You can actually make little lists on some of these tags. They are super cute. There's a little frame. You can actually cut out that snowflake and use that as a frame. So lots and lots of options. Here's some smaller labels that you can use. Here's some more tag shapes. These have a to and a from, so if you wanted to use these as Christmas tags, you can. There's also some numbers, so if you wanted to do a December daily mini album project, you have those numbers that you can do that with. There are some tickets, just cute little die cut shapes. So that's everything included in the Make It Merry card making kit. And there's also some add-ons, which I do not have, but they do have a add-on floral die cut pack. There's also an add-on embossing folder. This embossing folder has detailed pine needles as the background. There's also an add-on die set for the flowers that you see here. And there's also a die set that you can use for banner sentiments. And I'll have a link to all of these items down in the description box below, as well as in my coordinating blog post and my blog post link will be in the description box too. So I'm going to make five cards with the kit to hopefully give you some inspiration using the kit contents. So for my first card, I cut down a piece of the red cardstock to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And I added the holly pattern paper to the top. I cut the holly paper to four by five and a quarter. I have the red chevron paper that I cut to four by one and a half inches and I'm adding it across the bottom portion of that card layer. I also cut the green paper to four inches by three inches and I'll add that directly to the top. So that's all the pattern paper that I'm going to use and once all of that's glued together I'll then go ahead and add some of the die cut shapes. So I am going to bring in the Mary chipboard sticker and to finish off that word, I'm going to add the word Christmas from the puffy stickers. So I added the word Christmas first and then I'm just lining up the word Mary right on top. For the die cut shapes, I'm gonna use the Santa face. I'm also going to use the hot cocoa and I'm going to add a peppermint behind the hot cocoa. I'm also going to add a candy cane on the top of it to the top left. I'll add a candy cane underneath the whipped cream make it look like that candy cane's coming out of the hot cocoa. I added a chipboard tag that has the number 25 I'll go ahead and glue down the Santa face and then I'll add this to an A2 size card base. I'll add a few stars to my card and these stars are the gold stars that are included in the kit and that will complete my first card. Moving on to my second card, I have the old fashioned car with the Christmas tree paper and I cut that to four by five and a quarter. 
I added the Christmas tree pattern paper to the bottom and that I cut to four by three quarter inches. And then I'm going to add some die cuts. So I'll add the tag behind the car. I'm also going to add the postcard and then I'll add the car to the top. I'll add a chipboard sticker that says deck the halls to cover up the hole in the tag and I'll also add the chipboard sticker of the numbers 25 to the top right empty area of that card layer and then I'm just going to add some of the red gems to the card. I'll add this layer to a piece of green cardstock. My green cardstock measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches and then I'll add that to an A2 size card base. And that will complete this card. Moving on to my next card, I have a piece of the holly pattern paper and I cut that to four by five and a quarter inches and I'm adding it to a piece of red cardstock that I cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I also use the Spellbinder Essential Arches dies. This is a set of 16 nesting dies that will create arches on your cards and I cut one of them out of just some white cardstock and then I'm going to add that to the card layer and then create a little scene with a couple of the houses uh, that are included in the die cut shapes pack. So I'm just creating my scene. I'm going to have two houses. I'm going to use one of the trees that I'm going to set behind the house on the left. I'm going to have three snowflakes in the sky and I'm also going to use a banner sentiment that says "Tis the season. So I'm going to go ahead and glue everything down to the card. I'm going to tuck the tree behind the pink house and then I'll go ahead and glue the pink house to the top. I'm going to go ahead and add the snowflakes. I added one of the snowflakes behind the red house and then I added the red house to the top of that and then added the two other snowflakes and now I'll go ahead and add that to an A2 size card base. And that will complete this card. For my next card, I used the same holly paper from the previous card and cut a strip to 4 by 5 8 inch and I'm adding it to the bottom of this Christmas tree pattern paper that I had cut to 4 by 5 and a quarter and then I'll add that to a piece of red solid cardstock that's 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 I'm going to use this red label die cut shape. Just put glue on the white part of it and then tuck it behind this tag so that just the scallop portion is showing up behind the tag just for a little bit of an accent. And then I'll add it to the left side of my card layer. I'm going to decorate the tag with some more die cut shapes so I'll use the jingle all the way and two of the trees. I'm also going to bring in a sentiment banner. It says it's Christmas my deer and the deer is spelled D-E-E-R and then I'll bring in the deer that matches that sentiment and I'm just going to line everything up here and then I'll glue everything down to the card layer. For the banner sentiment, I'm going to add some of the double-sided foam adhesive to the back so that it's popped up. I'm going to add the number 25 to the top. And then I'll add some red gems to the card. I'll add this to an A2 size card base and that will finish this card. For my next card, I'm going to add a piece of pattern paper to a solid piece of green cardstock. The pattern paper is five and three eighths by four and an eighth, and the green cardstock is five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm also going to bring in the tag, the large snowflake, as well as the snow globe. I'm also going to add a smaller snowflake on the right side of the snow globe. I'm going to add some foam squares to the back of a banner sentiment and add it to the card. And I realized after I added it that I actually used that sentiment in a previous card. But there are so many other sentiments to choose from. You can totally pick from any of the ones that are included in this kit. So I'll add that to an A2 size card base 
And that will complete this card and all five cards that I created with the Make It Merry kit. So once again, all product links will be in the description box below and on my blog. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you had a favorite card, I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know which card is your favorite. If you want to see more Christmas card making videos, I'll link one here, but I also have many more Christmas videos under a Christmas card playlist, which you can also find here. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.